Mortgage rates uh, drives housing market, and certainly the job growth also drives, but jobs is there, but it's the swings in mortgage rate that has impacted the home sales in recent months. Uh, and very welcoming uh, that the inflation expectation is coming down uh, along with mortgage rates. Lawrence, one of the things that we've been following in higher frequency data, weekly mortgage apps, is the idea that refinancings have come down quite a bit. Would we expect those to pick back up again with rates hitting three-month lows and perhaps folks out there looking to do cash-out refis or something else to unlock the equity in their homes? Uh, the overall net worth of homeowners has increased tremendously uh, during this recovery cycle over the past 10 years. Uh, home values, as everyone knows, has been rising, but the overall mortgage balance has not, which means that there is a sizable equity that has been built up uh, that can be used for cash out refi. Uh, so we may see some pickup in refi activity, but interestingly, the U.S. consumers, homeowners have been very conservative and not wanting to tap their home as an ATM machine. So uh, in a sense, uh, homeowners are in much healthier situation, but if they could, uh, they can uh, refi and take the cash out. Lawrence, as, as before we, we let you go, we know that there have been pullbacks in housing prices in various hot parts of the market here in the United States. What is the outlook for the spring selling season in your mind, given what you know right now? Uh, with the mortgage rates uh, being falling uh, recently, and if it remains as stable at this point, uh, I believe that there will be a rush of buyers come spring buying season. The question is whether, especially on the mid-price points, moderately priced point, there will be sufficient inventory to fully satisfy that demand. On the upper end, plenty of supply on the upper end market.